I salute you, Commander Karibu, New Earth Army. Today I sit in front of you, not just as a leader, but more important as a warrior, a spiritual warrior on the journey towards a new paradigm. And this global awakening we are all participating is based on certain principles and is based on knowledge and information we are now collecting and we need to share with each other so we can witness our own transformation, we can open up to our healing, to our integration, and we, most important, can take back the power in order to accomplish and to take action. So today we are here once again talking about the principle of semen retention and why it is so important and immensely powerful when we talk about awakening, when we talk about healing, when we talk about reconditioning our state of mind, our capacity of awareness, of consciousness, and how this semen retention is so undervalued on the spiritual journey, in my opinion. So, I'm really excited try i'm very excited that we are here that we have this sharing this real talk and can once again explore and when i say explore i say this with a great purpose because i'm not just saying this is the truth and this is what everybody has to believe i think we are all beyond that state of ignorance and ego but we, we come together because we want to explore and we want to share opinions and life experiences we have. So this is what I'm standing here for. I'm representing my own experience and I'm embodying my own truth. So my invitation to you is to listen openly and if you feel you can share in your comments your experience or some questions. So semen retention is, is a theme since three years for me. I discovered semen retention when I was in a very dark place mentally, emotionally, spiritually. My, my girlfriend back then she split and I was left alone and because of my strong emotional attachment to her I just collapsed, completely collapsed and mentally, emotionally I escalated and I lost myself in a, in a place of pain and darkness and through looking for, for solutions to, to gain my power back I, I discovered semen retention with this, which is thanks God a, already a global movement of man understanding more and more that this part this principle this technique of semen retention can be an enormous tool to align yourself with your life purpose. It can be an enormous tool to listen and to understand your soul calling. And let's make it straightforward. For me, in my experience, semen and retention is, is a force. It's a force of creation. It's an enormous, potent force. And we all know that the semen will, will be one of the most important elements to create new life. We know that. So, of course, it is very potent. But what we, I believe, don't really understand is it's the value when we keep it, when we retain it in our body and we work with that life energy to to harvest, not only to harvest, but to maintain it, to generate it, and then to allow that potency to be all over your body, and then to allow that potency to fuel your very soul. And when we talk about soul, it often gets very abstract, but let's simplify it and let's say your energetic body and without doubt I, I can so clearly tell the difference when I'm, I'm jerking off or I'm, having, I'm making love and I'm coming inside the women or I'm coming on the women, it really doesn't matter, but I'm letting go of my semen and 
if I do that a couple times a week, then then I'm in a certain frequency. I'm in a, I'm in a very certain state. And I've been witnessing myself in that state. And it's not that it is a disaster, but it is, there is a sign of, of insecurity. There is a sign of less masculinity. I have a tendency to be more obedient, to be more obeying. And I'm losing a, a certain kind of aggression, a certain kind of instinct driven behavior. And now we can argue and talk about whether this is good or bad. But when we talk about masculinity and when we talk about spiritual awakening, we understand and I think we all can agree, you need energy. As a man, you need energy to conquer your daily duties and to stay on track and to stay on focus. And we need a lot of energy when we, when we want to um, open up for healing when we, or when we you know, generate spiritual awareness and when we continue this transformation, yeah, we, we need energy. If you take energy away, you have no power. So the energy is manifested power inside of you. And, and semen retention, when you retend it for one week, for two weeks, for three weeks, in my experience, every, every week I'm leveling up. I'm, I'm having different brain loops, different brain patterns. I have a, a very different emotional response to people. I have a very different opinion about my life and my mission. And most important, I know with great confidence what is my calling and why I am here on earth. And a human who knows his purpose is enormously powerful. A human who has no idea what his purpose in life is, is driven by fear, is controlled by the mainstream, is controlled by the collective traumatized civilization, is controlled by his family or by his partner. So the very simple understanding that this profound and simple technique of semen retention can build your soul and your, your drive and your purpose is already like just a miracle. It's, it's like a superpower and yet it's not understood and yet we, we, we jerk off or we make love and we just let this semen rush out of the body without understanding what it's his potency and and I'm once again I'm sharing my experience and I'm not stating truth for everybody and that's why I want to really underline here that you brother or sister you have to embark on your own journey and you have to ask yourself the question does it change my behavior? Does it make me feel different? Does it make me think different? Does it maybe bring a lot of clarity to my brain and to my goal in life? Now, why are we not doing it when it's so potent? On one side, I believe that we are conditioned to chase quick pleasure whether this is cultural or this is like evolutionary based but we seek pleasure and the enormous amount of pleasure when you have an orgasm we, we all know it it's how it's beautiful especially when you can share it with a person it, it's probably one of the most beautiful things in life 
but in the end of the day it is an enormous amount of energy an enormous amount of energy release and I don't want to talk about whether it's good or bad I want to judge it what's happening and can I maybe choose differently for a certain while to explore what happens when I'm not chasing this quick pleasure or dopamine release and and it's hard we, we like many men ask me how can you do it because after two three days it's already so such an urge it's such an addictive pattern it's such something we have we are craving it so much that that we we cannot stand and we have to release and we have to jerk off and our brain is conditioned to images of pornography or we have a partner who is really there is a strong attraction and then you you make love and you lose the control but basically it comes down you still not really choosing the new path you're still not really convinced that it will make such a difference and I don't know if it will make such a difference for you, but I'm telling you, try it. Give yourself at least a month and test it. And when you choose the quick solution and the pleasure seeking, then just, you know, confront yourself. How strong are you? How capable are you? Because seeking pleasure and quick pleasure is, is a very childish behavior because you're not in control of your desire you're not in control of your mind so how do I deal with it yes discipline is enormously powerful and important and discipline is crafted and creative it's a habit when you show up in your gym when you meditate when you do your yoga practice when you journal like you condition yourself to stay on track and to do your principles and your trainings very committed and the second thing is yeah but still I have those very deep instinctive cravings even I'm on this in the second week and the third week it comes like waves and often you know when you're alone and bad and you just have this rush of tension and excitement and you just want to release then I personally feel it's very valuable to just play around play with yourself touch yourself in, in any way that is at least like giving you a certain degree of pleasure a certain degree of of, of, of touch and, and connection when you have a person a lover even better you can make love but very slow very mindful and you can maintain deep breathing all that helps so when you're alone just touch yourself play around but be very gentle and and just keep it cool you know keep it cool and if you have a partner let your partner know hey I'm on this journey we can have fun we can explore but we're gonna slow down the rhythm and let's breathe together because there is now a higher purpose we want to maintain which is semen retention then I would as well say very powerful to combine semen retention with a fresh and healthy diet combine it with strength training combine it with meditation and yoga combine it with journaling and set yourself a frame from at least one month that's how I do it so one thing you definitely want to avoid is looking on on pornography because this just so much overstimulates and it's so much triggering your conditioned part which you want to transcend that you just cannot allow this to happen play with your fantasy touch yourself but keep it cool that helped me to bridge it and as well it helps a lot to know that it comes and goes the desire is not you're rising and you're like completely freaking out no it's like a wave and and 
as well I want to say to you that it's been many cycles now I've been going through so my first cycle when I was in this deep depression was in 2020 and then I, every year I have around two or three semen retention cycles and every time I'm embarking it I'm learning something new and I'm, I'm getting more competent in, in knowing and more prepared in understanding what I'm facing and most important I know the benefit is just immensely yesterday I quoted that I think the the, the most profound impact of semen retention is your spiritual connection that it strengthens your spiritual connection it strengthens your connection with your soul with the purpose of your soul with the voice of your soul with the desire of your soul and you're creating a very powerful frame and aura around you which is just a different species you are a different species when you of course link semen retention with more spiritual duties and, and training techniques but for me it's one of the most potent things I can I can implement in my in my life and I'm doing it like now for another month I think two months will will be good and yeah from there we see I like to keep it cyclish you know not saying it forever and ever because it's not real it's not realistic but from time to time to have that frames of harvesting of being nurturing of nurture your soul of really tuning in with your purpose and then just to, to take immense action it's very powerful so those are my updates on semen retention cycle 10 or 11 I guess and with this I hope I will continue now or not I hope but I'm really confident to show up now more frequently and to to reach out to you to build that brotherhood that sisterhood to build that new earth army and together we're marching forward to this new era. Hooyah and namaste.